Hi everybody, it's Susie. Um, I have a dream I'm going to share with you. I'm going to also um, refer you to a video. Brother um, Gary from Bear 049. This video here about a dream from a Russia and attack. Um, it's a great video he just put, put up today. Today is um, the third, Sunday the third. Maybe it's the fourth. I think it's the fourth. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave a link to this this video below. I hope you don't mind. I don't think Gary watches this channel, but I'm sure he won't mind. I'll leave him a message. Um, watch that video because he reminded me that I need to post this video because his 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 dream was similar. Um, but um, you know, and I've had also some other dreams or another dream about some foreigner. Oh, this was a few years back. Some somebody was climbing up a, a, a military foreigner guy was fully armed climbing up my balcony and we met eye to eye contact when I looked out my door and saw him with his weapons over his shoulder a great big rifle climbing up the balcony and um, I felt it was like they were invading us it was just a quick flash dream I had of that one and uh, so I'm going to leave that video in the bottom in the description box and in the in in that comment section on his I left my dream all written out in there so I'm just gonna read the dream to you that I printed on his site because every time I've tried about four or five times to do a video on this dream and the devil keeps fighting me on it so um, anyway here it is I was just telling him that I had a dream on Memorial Day morning I was at a house where there was a party of some sort and there were people in the basement and some upstairs, and I knew they were not saved. And then suddenly a basement window burst open and muddy water was fiercely rushing in. And then another um, burst open, another window burst open with more muddy water rushing in. And I felt they were in danger of drowning, the people that were down there, as it was filling up really fast. And I saw this as I was looking down into the basement. And the next thing I turned and looked behind me out the window and saw a huge mushroom cloud explosion. It was fiery red, real huge and bright in the, in the dark sky, a fiery red um, ball of fire in the mushroom cloud shape is what I saw. And I continued on and it says that I, I felt it was towards Chicago when I was looking out the window. And then I yelled, Jesus is coming. It's time. Jesus is coming. This is it. He's coming any moment now. Get ready. That's what I felt in my spirit in the dream, that that's what was going to happen at the same time when all these disasters hit. He's coming any moment now, get ready. And then next, another mushroom cloud exploded, and this one was much closer to us, um, like in the neighborhood, not too far away. And then I, and I saw the first one that happened in the distance, behind, um, straight behind the second mushroom cloud um explosion. I, I guess it was a nuclear bomb. I, I'm not good at explaining this stuff about bombs. Um, so, and then when, and as we saw it, the second one coming um, at us, people stopped and they embraced each other and they, and they, were, they knew they were going to die. And that's when the dream ended. And uh, so my dream reminded me of similar to the dream that Gary had, although his was a little more detailed of other stuff. So I'm really tired right now. I just thought I better get that off my shoulders and share that, that dream with you guys. It's been bugging me since I saw that. Um, it's not pleasant to have a dream like that, but it is important that we share it. As you can see, um, Gary shared his, other people are sharing theirs, and there's many similar dreams coinciding with one another. So that's how God speaks to us to confirm to everybody, to confirm to all of us and each other, uh, who are having these dreams that this is real Jesus is is coming God is speaking loud and clear to us of these warnings that are coming um, because his judgment is real and we and his the time of his judgment is upon the world it's coming very soon after the rapture and the rapture is imminent so um, please get your hearts right with Jesus please I beg of you in the name of Jesus God said he will pour out that uh, his spirit in these last days and he will you know, people have dreams and visions, and that's what's going on. You're getting reports in these mes these messages of dreams and visions. Please take them serious. 
And if you continue to want to believe the lie, God will allow you to have a strong delusion to continue believing the lie. So you won't know the truth ever if you just want to stay living in the lies that you're living in. There's only one way to know the truth, and that's through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. You want to know truth, you need to know Jesus. And Jesus is the only way to get to heaven. You must call on Jesus to be saved. Jesus told us himself, so who are we to argue with that? Jesus told us in John 3, verse 3, Verily, verily, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And I've had two people now, elderly women, tell me, I don't need to be born again. <laughs> have mercy on them, Lord. They know not what they say. You have to be born again if you want to go to heaven. Being saved is, be, is being able to go to heaven, saved from hell. So you have to call on Jesus to be saved. Romans 10, 13, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Calling on Jesus and believing and trusting in him. Not yourselves, not man, not the deeds and doctrines of men, not by works. There's nothing you can do to be saved. We are saved by grace through faith and that not of ourselves. Jesus, we are told, Jesus tells us, it is a gift of God, least any man could boast. Read that in Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus, that whosoever shall believe in him, in Jesus, shall not perish. You won't go to hell, and then you'll have everlasting life. John 3, 16. John 3, 17 also says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Please, you have been warned. We are getting tired of warning you, but we are going to continue doing this until the rapture, till that trumpet sounds, and we are called home finally. But trust me, all of us who are calling, who are saved, we are so, so concerned about all of you out there who are not saved because you do not know what you do not know. What you do not know is that God's wrath that's coming to this world is God allowing Satan to come into this world and take control. And God is going to allow all hell on earth to break loose. And you're going to be trapped in that mess of the worst evil and the disasters like never before. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 24, it'll be, the days will be so bad, it'll be worse than you've ever seen before, nor ever will again. Why would you want to do that to yourself when it's so easy to get saved? Don't be stubborn. Stubborn and pride, that gets you taken to hell for sure. God, God hates pride and a haughty heart. He tells us so in the Bible. Get a hold of a true King James Bible before you can't do it anymore. Before you can't find them. They're very hard to find in stores, that's for sure. But you can go on 1-800-CHRISTIAN and order one. Make sure it's a King James. They're all promoting all the false Bibles like crazy. But you gotta, you got to go through, find that needle in the haystack, the King James Bible. They're still able to be purchased. And then get a hold of it and read it. Start with the book of John in the New Testament and really read the book of First John. That's I just love that one. It tells so much in such a short book. You can listen to it on audio. I'll leave that link in the description box. You can listen to First John on audio in, less, in about a little over 15 minutes. It's wonderful, wonderful. And I played it over and over again. I want to memorize it. It's so good. Oh my. So please everybody the floods are coming, and they are here ready to this world, everywhere, all over the world. There's many floods happening. Who knows where it's going to hit next? It could be your neighborhood. I don't know where this house was, but I have an idea. It's in the area of Chicago somewhere. Um, I was just there witnessing this. I don't know that even I was even in, in the, you know, I was just, it was what I saw. Not necessarily, people weren't necessarily aware that I was even there watching. 
But uh, you got to call on Jesus and get saved. And I'm not kidding. This is it. Jesus is coming. You've got to believe it. Just because he doesn't come one moment we say he's coming doesn't mean you have time. You could take your last breath and die before Jesus comes in the rapture. You could take your last breath and the next, and you, when you wake up, you're either going to be found in heaven or hell for all of eternity. So you have to choose this day whom you will serve. Tomorrow could be too late. If you want to go to heaven, you've got to choose Jesus. You say yes to Jesus. God will say yes to you in it and allow you to enter into his kingdom. But if you reject Jesus, God will reject you. And you will be thrown into the lake of fire, into hell, and be tortured and burned forever and ever. And that's the truth. And I don't wish that upon you whatsoever. I wouldn't be doing these videos. I'm trying to help warn people. I'm being obedient to God to please him, not man. I don't care that you people out there that don't want to hear this. You're still listening all the way through this video that long? You're listening still? Really? But yet you're going to mock and thumbs down it? Thanks. Thank you very much. Then I know I'm earning points in heaven. Because <laughs> when we are persecuted for his name's sake, great will be our rewards, Jesus tells us. It's expected. It's expected. You can't harm us. We're born again believers in Christ. We're God's children. You are not the children of God until you let go of being a child of the God of this world, Satan. When you turn to Jesus, you can let go of Satan. Satan has a hold on you, I should say, until you call on Jesus. You were born into this world into sin, whether you want to believe it or not. You are a natural born sinner. We all were, everybody. And once you call on Jesus to be born again, admitting you're a sinner, needing a savior, believing in him and who he is and what he did for you on the cross and allowing him to come into your heart and confessing your sins to him and asking him to forgive you. That makes you born again and your old self will pass away and behold, all things become brand new. You're no longer that same person you used to be. You're dead to sin and you're alive in Christ. And then, and only then, are you a child of God. Wake up. The floods are coming. Jesus told us that when he, time before he comes, it'll be just as it was before, as it was in the days of Noah. People, people were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage, having a good old time, just like in my dream. People were having a good time in that basement and upstairs, like nothing's wrong one moment, and the next moment, disaster struck. Downstairs and outside, flood of water bursting through their home, this home, and a nuclear attack hitting twice, just in that dream. But I'm sure there's going to be many, many of them, many explosions, many missiles. I've had those dreams. Oh my goodness, I had quite a few. Please wake up. Many people are having these dreams. Maybe you're one of them. Tell people Jesus is coming. When we get to heaven, we don't want to regret that we didn't say enough and we didn't share enough to people about the truth. There's so many people out there that don't have the truth. How many are you letting pass you by each day? I'm guilty too. I had one man I saw in this whole entire store that I talked to, and I feel bad that I didn't talk to more, but I feel great about talking to him. Every soul matters, you guys. Every soul matters to God. So I'm praying that this man will make, you know, he will leave religion. He really, really loved hearing what I had to say. He was very, very um, interested in what I was sharing with him. And he said that he will give it some thought, and he will talk to the other people that were trying to also tell him about Jesus. And I'm just praying for him. His name's Jose. Please say a prayer for Jose. There's many Jose's out there. There's many people out there, all different names, all different types of people. It doesn't matter who you are, what color you are, what you believe. There's only one way, and Jesus is the one way, and Jesus will take you, whoever you are, whoever you are, our skin color, our, our nationality, it doesn't matter. He loves you just the same. He is no respecter of persons. The kingdom of God has room for you. And he is reaching out his arms right now for you too to be saved. So call on Jesus now. Grab a hold of him while you still can be found. Can He can still be found before it's too late, before the rapture happens or before you take your last breath in your sin. You don't want to do that. You need Jesus now.
before it's too late, whatever way it happens. Jesus is coming, some way, shape, or form, to your life. You'll accept him or you'll reject him. Please accept him today. God bless you all in Jesus' name.